2024 Dodge Ram Laramie 2500 turbo diesel crew cab front seat rear seats looks like decent trim and lather some Alcantara like material on the door cards here uh, decent leather looking or appearing material if it is leather or fake leather uh, looks nice all digital instrument cluster works as expected because it's brand new uh, trucks is very quiet inside it's got this navigation panel here we won't go through too much but we'll kind of see how it drives steering is really nice it's super light uh, you wouldn't even think it's a truck with how nice the steering is very smooth this one does have a lift bigger wheels and tires and it's getting some banks goodies in uh, the coming days so we'll just kind of see how it drives stock and uh, go from there it's a little damp out tire spin, traction control comes on, very controllable, nothing uh, outrageous there. The ventilated seats are nice, it's pretty hot and muggy out, so those are a nice feature to have. Uh, but overall I think uh, this version is around 80,000, somewhere in that realm. Smooth on the road. It has that nice Dodge brand new interior smell. A lot of storage obviously, but the focus is just going to be on the actual performance here. Uh, pretty nice turning, everything's stable. This is wide open. surprised on how quiet this is. I mean, I got the diesel truck and it's really smelly, noisy, loud, clunky, but for all uh, intents and purposes, this is just a real nice uh, truck. But again, you wouldn't think it's diesel because you can't feel that, um, that torque and, and the diesel pull like you can on some modified ones. So That's why all the Banks goodies are going on it. So I don't know too much about miles per gallon, fuel economy, anything like that. Like I said, I just hopped in this thing and here we are. I don't know about this uh, barcode up here on the middle of the windshield. That's kind of odd. I guess they don't do them in the corners anymore. Newest car I've ever driven was like a 07, so kind of not with the times. Stereo, I believe, is quite good. Yep, decent stereo. I mean, just a nice overall truck if you want to do some towing and hauling stuff. If you got 80 grand laying around, burning a hole in your pocket. Yeah, so wide open, we're not getting any wheel spin. Nothing crazy, it's very controllable. So we'll get back, take a look at the outside in detail, pop the hood, look at that nice stock diesel engine, and go from there. All right, so surprisingly in 2024, we still have a standard hood release. Guess if it's not broke, don't fix it. The truck itself, dark blue. Like I said, it's got the bigger wheels. And some type of lift kit, I believe. I don't know if it's factory installed or how that comes. Dodge. But overall, I mean, tail lights a little funky here. Big Dodge logo at the back. Ram. Uh, overall, I think if I had to choose one of the three domestics, it would be a Dodge. Um, just had horror stories. Heard horror stories about the Fords, new Fords, and GMs having issues and. 
I don't know. I guess if you had to pick one, it would be this. Could be up for debate. But it seems pretty well put together. I mean, the front end's kind of odd. It just comes straight down. But you just kind of go, whoop, just totally flat here. Other than that, I mean, it'll do what you need it to do. And then a new quick shot of the engine. Like I said, it's going to get upgrades, all sorts of bank stuff. We'll do a after video once that's all in. Got some cool notes here, warnings or whatever. Purple uh, coolant. Interesting. Uh, yeah, 2024 technology at its best. It's got half the soundproofing. I don't know why they didn't put it all the way over, but. Maybe just because that top part's plastic on the engine, I guess they figured it didn't need it. But overall, yeah, I mean, decent truck. I mean, dare I say it kind of reminds me of a Toyota, just the, some of the, the fit and finish, at least. But decent back seats here. They got all sorts of power ports. The door cards here are fairly nice. Got some Alcantara here and uh, some strange carbon wood trim looking sort of stuff uh, but yeah no moonroof no sunroof nothing like that but look at this here i've already found <laughs> not a defect but you know there's just a little like crinkling here almost it looks like i don't know if that's a some kind of defect or what that is or if this is wrapped or painted or something i'll check the other side see what's going on nice easy open or easy close uh, tailgate here looks like it's got some rubber bed liner I don't know if Dodge does that from the factory or what but uh, so this side no nope. looks like this side is smooth so yeah a little crinkly on the other side, no big deal. Mirrors. Standard mirror to me. Our seats, adjustments, all that, nothing crazy. Nice little ram pouch here. So, yeah, I mean the video is just primarily quick overview of the truck and then we're just going to really focus on the upgrades and how that changes things, drivability, etc. But pretty impressed. It's nice and comfy, uh, suspension-wise. Uh, the handles the bumps pretty well, pretty smooth, drives straight. No kind of torque steer, or any kind of torque pulling or wheel spin or anything crazy. So you got 80 grand burning a hole in your pocket. Want to buy a new truck? This could be it. So stay tuned for the next part. Uh, maybe I'll add it in here. Maybe I'll do a separate video. Not sure yet. There she is.